you're probably thinking this, circus week. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, it is not circus week. And I did not dress like this because it is National Apple Pie Day. I didn't dress like this because it's National Crouton Day. I also didn't dress like this because it's National Frog Leaping Day for all you frog lovers out there. And I especially didn't dance, dress like this because it is National Fruit Salad Day. I did not dress like this because of any of those. For one reason and one reason only, but before I tell you why I dress like this, I'm gonna bring out my good neighbor, Mrs. Graham, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Graham. Yes. How you I'm doing, good right. neighbor? Hey, I'm happy to be here. Excellent, yes, I am uh, I'm excited that you're out here. And uh, I love nothing better than to put on a good clown wig every now and then. I, sorry, I forgot my <laughs> I hear you have uh, some announcements that you would like uh, to share with everybody. Yeah, just kind of an, um, get you updated on what's going on at school. Um, our eighth grade, Mr. Mason, he let me know that they are getting ready for some really fun events um, to celebrate all the eighth graders for the last week. And so we want to make sure I told you that. Um, I, I have a cheat sheet so I don't forget because some people wrote things down for me. Mrs. Olson and her family and friends did something really cool. Kind of like our uh, library free books here, they made some. Let me read it for you. She says, um, they teamed up with the organization Reading Hearts to repurpose some old Fresno Bee uh, newspaper dispensers Very and cool. they turned them into these free book dispensers and they will be putting them out in, not in our neighborhoods necessarily, but if you'd like to donate, please uh, email uh, Mrs. Olson at our school. That but is super she, rad. Otherwise, um, really just a shout out and thank you to PTO who sent all the teachers a gift card for um, teacher appreciation. Thank you for all that you do for us and our support. You're rad. PTO is rad. They are. I love them. They're a great support. Excellent. Well, uh, I hear you had, uh, so uh, Mr. Osier from uh, Sequoia Elementary is out here yesterday. I hear you heard you have some interesting facts, uh, some little known facts that you wanted to share with us today. Is that true? Yes. There's the weird but true. Weird but true. I love yes. weird but true. She loves weird but true as well. <laughs> okay. Right. May I begin with them? All yes, right. you can. Let's lead off. Did you know that girls have more taste buds than boys? What? <laughs> Is that why I can't taste the crust when I brush my teeth? No. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Let's see. Did you know that peanuts are not actually nuts? What? No. They're legumes. Kind of like in the bean and pea family. The legumes. Yeah. I know. That was not as interesting or fun. That is super interesting to me. What about planets? Do you know much about planets? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Venus is the only planet that actually spins clockwise. All the rest of them counterclockwise, including us. I did know that because when I was in third grade, I wanted to be an astronaut. Oh. So I did know that one fact. Did that you know? Did you know that an ostrich eye is bigger than its brain? An oh, ostrich eye is bigger than its brain? Yeah, that's oh. bird brain. Yeah. Interesting. And that's shrimps. Cool. I'm glad it's not reversed for humans. I know. Thanks. That would be really bad. <laughs> well, there's a few questions out there. But okay. Yeah, I get you. Um, let's see. Hi! <laughs> you have a talk in the show. I'm just saying. Uh, I've got a few, but um, let's go with shrimps. You know what shrimp is, right? I do. Okay. Tasty when they're done the right way. Correct. Their hearts are in their head. I did and not know that. That, that is an interesting fact. Shrimp hearts are in their head. So really, where their head is located is really their heart. And then where is their heart located? In their tail. Hopefully right. not their tail. Hopefully their tail actually, because then, well, I don't know. That's something you can look up. There you go. <laughs> that, that is a thought. That is a thought to ponder today. That is the thought of the week, maybe. One more for sports, just All to right. throw it out there. Did you know that NFL referees in the Super Bowl also get rings? Super Bowl rings? Really? I did not know that. Wow. So as a teacher, I'm glad I taught you something new. Hats off hey, to you, I Mrs. Tried. Graham. I also heard you had one more uh, very important announcement for uh, all the kids that are looking forward to something at the end of the season, end of the school year, actually. Yes, actually. Our school talent show. Uh, we sent out a notice for it um, a while back on Remind, um, but I noticed that the videos that we're hoping to get, not one of them has been uploaded yet. So I want to make sure the word gets out because usually our talent show has 30 to 40. 
40 different acts and it takes about an hour and a half. And so I broke it up into three sessions, K2, 3, 5, and 6 through 8, to submit your talent. You can sing, dance, play an instrument, uh, maybe do a funny song parody with your family, you know, whatever you want to do. But we'd really like to get those in so we can send it out the last week of school. So you have two weeks, so due by the 27th, and I'm going to have them send out another remind with that uh, notification with the link to upload your video. So really hope you do it. Well, to inspire those kids at home, you're probably now knowing where this is going. <laughs> that is right, ladies and gentlemen. Maestro, hit it, please. That was your cue to oh. Oh, the I call this one behind the back. Ready? Behind the back. Hit it behind the back. All right. Every every juggler needs a big conclusion. Give me some music, Maestro. Crank up that music. fantastic answer and everyone wants to know at home what type of toothpaste do you use aqua fresh i use it every aqua day fresh. and yes, the minty yes. the very first person to use aqua fresh her breath smells clean her breath always smells clean because stinky breath is going to ruin your <laughs> friendships stay awesome until tomorrow we'll see you then with another guest from quail lake oh sweet goodbye Bye.